Hey, this is Shailene. You're watching Eat, Breathe, Books. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Um, if you've been here before, hi and welcome back. I've missed you all so much. And if you're new, then welcome. This is a thing I do on my channel a lot. I go to Barnes & Noble, I go book shopping, and I take you around with me and I show you, you know, new books that I haven't noticed before, books I've heard good things about, books that I love. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, yes. The throwback days. Debut and Fearless. I love it. I haven't filmed one of these in a while, so I hope I remember what I'm doing. There are a lot now that I don't recognize because I haven't been here in like a month. Business, not as usual. So this is like a nice romance table. This looks really good, I love the cover. I've heard good things about this. I've heard about a lot of these actually. A lot of people were excited for this one. And um, this is giving Taylor Swift, obviously, reputation. <laughs> a lady. Is nothing with that one. How fun! So it takes place like a couple centuries ago, but feels more contemporary. Love stories like that. I want to get into more of those like that. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. The romantic agenda. There's a lot of these look good. Oh my god, I can't pick every single one up, but this one was a lot of fun to read. I really enjoyed it. And the paperback just came out. This is about a ballerina goes to Paris for six weeks in the summer. Oh my gosh, I love this cover. The Matchbreaker Summer. What is this? And her fellow Matchbreaker, has she found her perfect match? Of course, there's always a book talk section. If you watch my channel, you already know I love like Emily Henry, Spanish Love Deception. Obviously, we've been talking about Colleen for years. It's nice to see without merit here. Usually, that's not like displayed at the store. Or there always and i think some of you've even commented you haven't been able to find without merit at your local barnes and noble we love the twilight books obviously i know i know i need to keep reading the crave series a lot of you have been telling me i know i need to continue i love we were liars oh i've heard really good things about holly jackson's books cool these classics have such cute covers they're like nice and hardcover they're really pretty I always thought the blind date with a book section was so cute. Let's pick up one at random and see. A page-turning family saga. This book will entertain readers of all generations. They're, like, very um, big. So it's really hard to figure out what they're, which books they are, which is cool. Am I the one only one who loves stories with a cooking plot? I've never heard of this, but it's called When There's a Whisk by Sarah J. Schmidt. Let's see what it's about. Let's see, there's got humor, romance, life is what you bake it. This girl wants to escape her small town, go to New York City, and get on Top 10 Chef, which is a new show that pairs reality TV drama with competition. Cool, it sounds good, you guys. Let's see what else. So I read this book a long time ago, Jellicoe Road. I'm pretty sure it used to be called On the Jellicoe Road, but I could be wrong. It's by Melina Marchetta. This is just such an interesting and like lyrical, beautiful, poetically written book that like you really have to think about um, and I really enjoyed it. So this cover is so cute and this is like the brand new cover and I like the spine and everything. So if any of you have read it, let me know because I haven't heard much talk about it lately, but it's like a super unique book. This one's interesting too and I haven't heard of it. It's called All the Right Reasons by Bethany Mangle and no clue what it's about, but I know it has, features a strong mother-daughter relationship. All is fair in love and television. Okay, I think this person's life kind of gets into like a reality TV situation. Why do I keep picking up like reality TV stories? I love this cover. Super, super intriguing. Like all just books by their covers. This is just the thing that we do. So you know how it is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've been so freaking excited about this. I love like wedding stories and I love Sajani Patel's writing. This is her first YA novel, I'm pretty sure. Um, she writes incredible banter and romance and just like character growth and everything. This is called My Sister's Big Fat Indian Wedding. It's a new release, it literally just came out. Definitely getting this and look at this cover. Oh my gosh, I am literally so excited. Like I will be reading this after my current read for sure. I still think that this sounds really good. And you get the chance, I'm alert. This is a sort of Mamma Mia retelling. Also, so far, I've been talking about a lot of YA. Um, I'm just like, YA is my all-time favorite genre. I also do love NA, but I mostly read YA, I would say. Ooh, I did not know the genuine frog got a new cover. Cool. 
cool. I'm so excited for the next Beaver Liars book. It's gonna be so good. Has anyone read this? I read it recently, gushed over it. I'm sure you, oh, interesting, $3 off. I'm sure if you watch my channel, you've seen me gush over this, but the next one's coming out in May and I'm so excited to read it. Just actually got this in the mail. It was a Barnes & Noble pre-order I made a while ago. Really looking forward to diving into this one. I love the cover also. Jen Bennett's new book just came out and I love the cover. It's called Always Jane. She writes really great romances. I've enjoyed a lot of them, so love. Here we are in the romance section. Lots of new adults for sure. I've got some Christina Lauren. Don't see their new book here. I think it's called Something Wilder. A lot of Colleen Hoover here. Super exciting. Here is the Sajan Patel book that I said that I really love, The Trouble with Hating You. She wrote a companion novel called First Love Day 2, but I'm gonna borrow it from my friends, so I'm not gonna buy it. But I am very excited for it. She's just really good at writing like deep emotional character arcs, banter, all that jazz. I got the um, first Sweet Magnolias, not Steel Magnolias, but Sweet Magnolias book recently. I'm really excited to read it. I've started it actually and I've been liking it so far. And I see they have like the TV show tie-in editions, which is fun. But I think I'm just gonna get the regular covers as I go on. So I heard about this recently from Haley Fam's new video and it's a book called it only happens in the movies by Holly Horn. But someone who like used to like romantic films and they don't anymore and they like don't believe in love or something, which always sounds like fun. I love when movies are mentioned in books also. So definitely gonna keep this one on my radar. If anyone's read it, let me know. I feel like it might be a new release because I haven't heard of it, but I could be wrong about that. So I'm doing a voiceover for this part because it was just way too loud in the store. Basically what I'm saying here is that I'm getting a copy of Laura Taylor Navy's first book, The Library of Lost Things, because I really enjoyed her second book and I'm reading her third one right now. And I love just getting to read like all different books from the same author and seeing if their writing has changed over time or anything like that. I think she's a phenomenal writer, so I'm super excited to read it. And continuing with the voiceover over here. So I picked up this book. I didn't end up buying it, but I was looking at it. It's called The Other Side of Perfect. And it's about a girl who's quit ballet, but I think she hasn't like told people about it. And I was saying that I love reading books about dancers, especially ballerinas. Like I, like I said earlier in the video, I love reading Kisses and Croissants by Anne-Sophie Jeannot. And if anyone has any recommendations for me on books about like dancers or ice skaters, I would totally be down to check those out. All right, follow me if you dare. So the next one is a book that I've heard really good things about. It's called The Summer of Lost Letters. It's by Hannah Reynolds. I believe that she's a Jewish author. And from what I remember, this is a book about a girl who finds these old love letters that her grandma wrote. Um, her grandma is a survivor of Nazi Germany. I believe she escaped and came to the US when she was young. And these are a bunch of love letters that she'd written to someone named Edward. And then for a second, I freaked out and I was like, Edward, oh my gosh, Edward Cullen. But anyway, I've heard really incredible things about this. I've heard that the writing is beautiful and obviously it's a very important topic to discuss, like, you know, what the Jews endured in Nazi Germany. I'm Jewish myself. Um, and I have like a lot of people that I know personally whose like grandparents and stuff were in the Holocaust or escaped to America. And now I'm giving a little spiel basically about how important it is to read stories and to hear from real Holocaust survivors the things that they have endured and been through. Um, it is incredibly important but we also have to be really careful about who we're getting that information from. There's been a big trend of people, especially non-Jewish people, telling Holocaust stories which is completely not okay uh, according to many Jewish people including myself um, because there's never going to be that deep personal connection and I just think a lot of misinformation is spread around so just be really careful about who you're getting your information from but it is really 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 important to strengthen your holocaust education and to remember that pretty soon like all the survivors of the holocaust are not going to be alive anymore in our lifetimes and so we should learn from them as much as we can right now and then continue to tell their stories. I also took a look at Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Q. Satanto. I heard that this one is hilarious. It's about a murder that occurs. I think maybe like the bride committed murder i'm not really sure but then her four aunties come and like help her cover up the murder this little moment was giving music videos giving the baby by justin bieber video i don't know why okay here we go with the summer of broken rules um i've heard really incredible things about this one this is about a girl who goes to martha's vineyard uh, i think a year and a half after a tragedy happens in her family and i know that there is a romance involved i don't really know much else but i just always look at it when I'm at the store and I finally decided like, you know what, I will get my hands on it. Um, now in this part, I'm just talking about the three books that I'm planning on getting and I will hopefully give you more information on it when I do a haul and a wrap up. I'm sorry the editing was so awkward, but thanks again for watching. Love you all. Bye!